Hello everyone, this is Bishop Jonathan Ferriol, and this is The Bishop's Take. What is virtual personal evangelism? Well, from its very term, it is using technology such as computers, the internet, social media, and the like in order to communicate the gospel of Jesus Christ to others. The conventional method of doing personal evangelism is sharing the gospel of Christ to a friend by walking up to them and saying, hey, I'd like to share my faith with you, or something to that effect. But in virtual personal evangelism, you communicate the gospel by posting something about your faith on social media platforms like Instagram or Facebook, or using FaceTime to tell them about your faith. And so the difference between the virtual and the conventional is simply the medium. And let me tell you this, given the current social distancing policies, virtual technology is showing itself to be heaven sent as far as evangelism is concerned. However, even though virtual personal evangelism is all the rave right now, if you are not careful, you could be doing more damage to your testimony than good. I see a lot of Christians stumbling and fumbling with their use of technology. So I'd like to offer you some pointers on how to be effective virtual missionaries. First, learn how to use technology, such as your computer, mobile device, and the internet. Even though technology has become more intuitive and simple to operate, a lot of people, especially the elderly, are still afraid or do not know how to use it. I must admit that I myself am a little bit intimidated and challenged sometimes to use the latest gizmos. But don't get me wrong, I'm not a technophobe. I'm a little bit more of a technopeel. So, spend time on learning how to use this technology. Secondly, exercise discernment. Not everything you watch or read on the internet is worth liking or sharing. Just as there is trash on television, there's probably even a lot more trash on the internet. And if you will not exercise discernment or discretion, you could end up partnering with some questionable people and groups. Thirdly, always maintain your witness and credibility. Just as you are a Christian and a fort watcher, on a face-to-face -face basis, you are a Christian and a fort watcher still virtually. You ought not to stop being a Christian on your social media platforms, just as you do not use profanity. For instance, in actual conversations, you ought not to use profanity either in virtual conversations. Just as you do not gossip in your real life relationships, you ought not to gossip online too. What is wrong in an actual setting is still wrong in a virtual setting. Plus, you do not want to send mixed signals. You cannot post Bible verses one moment and share openly crude and obscene materials the next. That's a no-no. Fourthly, patronize and promote our own. I'm not saying you can't post or share other photos or videos from other Christians that are consistent with our faith, but it's better if you could patronize and promote our own internet faith materials and resources such as teaching materials, quote wallpapers, and actual events of the church. In this way, our faith will be broadcasted to a whole lot more people around the globe. So, remember these four points and you'll be on your way to become a virtual missionary and be the very voice of God's hope and healing in our broken and hurting generation. This is my take on virtual personal evangelism.